It's not just one thing that you're going to learn or one thing you're going to read or one hack you're going to figure out. It's not one thing that's going to change your life, bro. It's a culmination of a bunch of growth and a bunch of learning and it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of fucking time, dude. When I first started learning about personal development, I was 16 and I read The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle and I thought, wow, meditation is going to fucking save my life. Medi meditation is literally going to make me successful. As long as I meditate, I'm going to be successful. And then I read book after book after book thinking something that I read in one of these books was going to be the life changer that finally set everything in motion and I was going to be set. But that's not how it works, bro. Again, it's a culmination of knowledge and applying that knowledge. Leveling up and growing is a long, long process of action, not consumption, bro. It's constantly growing your discipline. It's constantly making these daily deposits into different skill sets that you know will help you. It's constantly doing the things you know you need to do even when you don't want to do them. And almost more importantly, it's constantly not doing the things that you want to do because you know in the future it'll be better for you. That's what it's about. It requires a lot of trial and error, bro. And it's going to be really, really frustrating. That trial and error, a lot of the time, is going to feel like failure. But you have to remember, as long as you have a vision and a plan to attain your vision, it's not failure. It's temporary defeat. That's super, super important. The only time that you actually fail is when you give up. And you're not the type of person to give up, so that means that you can never fail. Stop looking for another hack or another shortcut or any of that shit and just realize it's about finding the things that are difficult for you and then following through on those things. So if you struggle with weed abuse or alcohol abuse or playing too much video games or eating too much food, any of that type of stuff, find the things that are really, really difficult for you to handle and go handle them. That's what's important. So for me, I have a really hard time not smoking weed. So every day, I just don't smoke weed. And in those moments where I'm really feeling like smoking weed, it's like, this is the moment that's gonna make me stronger or make me weaker. And about and from there, it's just my choice. Same with video games. I've, I've always struggled with playing too much video games. I've always struggled with binge eating food. I've always struggled with these things. So for me, those things are the things that are the most important for me to hold back from. Restraint gives you strength. That's from Wes Watson great, great person to listen to. And that's super, super valuable. Strength does come from restraint, but only with the things that actually matter for you. For me, again, I've said this before, alcohol, abstaining from alcohol for me isn't even hard. I, I prefer not to drink. So for me, if I abstain from alcohol at a party or if I'm out with friends and they're like, oh, here's a drink and I say no, I would have said no anyway. Like, it doesn't do anything for me, but it's different when it comes to weed. It's different when it comes to video games. It's different when it comes to junk food. Bro, those things are the thing that's hard for me. So abstaining from those things is what builds up my strength, builds up my discipline. All of these moments in life where you choose to do the right thing, even when you feel like doing the easy thing, those are your deposits. And the withdrawal comes later in the form of fulfillment, in the form of achieving your goals and bringing your vision to life. That's what's important. Or the withdrawal can come now, and you can indulge in all these instant gratification activities, but understand that daily withdrawal over and over and over again without any deposits, your account goes into the red. You're gonna feel depleted. You're gonna feel down on yourself. You're gonna feel like shit and you're not gonna understand why. And then you're gonna build up this huge mess and you're not gonna know how to clean it up. And even if you did, you're not gonna have the skills to actually figure things out. It's all about these daily deposits and it's tough, but it's worth it. Honestly, bro, you might already be in the red just like I was. Smoking weed every single day, playing video games when you got bills that aren't paid, eating another cheat meal when you're already 60 pounds overweight. Like, it's so easy to stay in this constant cycle of these negative habits because it's weird. Those negative habits are the only thing that actually make you feel all right in the moment. Like, for me, when I was 60 pounds overweight eating another cheat meal, my excuse was always like, ah, fuck it, I'm fat anyway. Like, it's so easy for you to talk yourself into these things because those are the things that make you feel all right in the moment. Eating that junk food feels comfortable. Playing those video games feels comfortable. Smoking that weed feels comfortable. But comfortable isn't good. Comfortable is never good because outside your comfort zone, as you know, is where growth comes. So you gotta push yourself outside your comfort zone. And it's tough, but again, you can do it and it's 100% worth it. When you do finally make that switch though and your daily habits are actually good habits that bring you closer to your goals, it's easy to stay in that cycle too. When you, when you get to the point where you gain pleasure from doing the things that make you not feel pleasure in the moment. Like it's this really weird dynamic where you're like, I'm going to stay away from that junk food because I know that's going to bring me closer to my goal. And that gives me more pleasure than eating the junk food. 
that's when you really start making progress. That's when I really started making progress. In the past four or five months, I'm down 45 pounds, bro. And I got about 20 pounds to go, but I'm not like, I have no doubt that I'm going to do it because at this point I gain way more pleasure from eating the right macros and eating the right calories than I do from going and grabbing ice cream from DQ or something. Like it used to be flipped the other way around, but I flipped it and it only takes a couple weeks for you to actually get in that stride. And again, you can do it and it'll be a hundred percent worth it. There's no one thing that's going to change your life, bro. There's no one hack. There's no one moment where everything will click and you'll finally start making the right decisions, bro. It's constant progression. It's constant daily improvements. That's all it is. And then eventually, like I said, you'll get to a point where you gain more pleasure from making progress than you do from instant gratification. And that's where things really start picking up for you. If, trust me when I say, bro, if there is a shortcut, it's putting in the work that you know you need to do, but you keep putting off. That's what's actually going to get you where you want to go the fastest. It's not going to be continually like looking at this thing being like, oh, maybe I'll try that. You try it for a little bit and you're like, hmm, not working. I'm going to go do this then. You have to realize every time you do that, you're starting again brand new. I've done this so many times. Started a new YouTube channel because I'm like, mm, I wasn't consistent enough with this one. Got to do this one. Starting a new diet because I'm like, mm, this one's not working fast enough. Maybe this one. And whenever you do that, you're starting brand new again. One, th one thing Andy Frisella always says, and I like it. If you're, if you're trying to run a marathon and every time you get a little bit into that marathon, you go back to the finish line or to the start line, are you ever going to run a marathon? No. You have to follow things all the way through. That's what's important, bro. I really appreciate you watching or listening to this. I hope it changed your perspective, made you think, maybe helped you in some way. Again, you can find me on Instagram at Coulter00. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Again, appreciate you watching. Take care, bro.